The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon became a nightmare. And what a nightmare it was. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Beginning, believe it or not, was my very first scary movie. And I am a huge horror movie fan, and it all started right here. And, um... I found it interesting because it, the fact that it's a true story makes it all the more creepier. But because I saw it at such a young age, I really thought there were like someone wearing a m mask made of other faces and a chainsaw running around all over the place trying to kill people. Um, and I honestly thought that was the story for a long time until I actually sat down and watched the movie and then I saw how crazy it was. Like just these people are insane and they they think that they're doing the right thing which which just blows my mind because they're like hey are you gonna pray with us like the the fact that they prayed during dinner after they were about to eat human flesh and they're like we worship the lord in this house okay yeah when do you worship the lord before or after you start killing everyone senselessly and eating them afterwards <sighs> It kind of makes me disappointed that there are people like that in the world. But you know what? You make that tragedy, turn it into a movie, and then it's entertaining as all living life. Now, the original Text Chainsaw Massacre, um, I never got to see. But the first, just the Text Chainsaw Massacre, the remake, that was around 2004 to 2005, um, I just recently saw that. And the beginning intrigued me because they were in the New Bronzeville River where I used to go, where I go all the time then they're driving to a Led Zeppelin con um, 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 uh, Leonard Skinner concert which they kind of hint because they're talking about Freebird and then they pick up a girl and then one of the most frightening things I've ever seen in a movie happens right there like seriously I was standing there with my mouth wide open it's it's just the most horrifying gruesome 30 seconds of your of your life um, well, I rate the, both these movies, like, four to five stars, um, I strongly suggest them, and I think you should check them out. This has been a movie review by Nao, and I'll be, uh, coming out with a lot more. Thank you for listening.